Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. As you can see from the title of this video, this is going to be a little Sunday reset vlog. Jude Gurley is coming over. I had a very normal morning. I fed Miss Gurley when I got up. I was actually leaking everywhere because she slept for 12 hours. She slept so well. I fed her, um, I got ready, I went to Pilates, I picked up our groceries. Now I'm home, I'm back home. I actually had to wait a long time to pick up my groceries, unfortunately, because of the pickup time. But yeah, I'm back home. Thank you. We're gonna take a shower, put her down, and then I will do a little grocery haul. We're going back in time a bit to Saturday afternoon because this is something that I have to do on Saturdays to prepare for a Sunday reset. Actually, before we do that, something that I also do either on Saturday or Sunday, depending on the last time I did it during the week, is I clean the sink. This is just a mixture of baking soda and some lemon essential oils. I like to do this one to two times a week, usually once during the week and then once on the weekends, as I just said. Just sprinkle it around, let it sit for five, 10 minutes and then I just scrub that and rinse and your sink is clean, it smells nice. These are locked now because of Judy Gurley. We locked a few cabinets and I always forget and it's just like a little bit annoying, but it's all right. Most of our cabinets are still open. What I do before grocery shopping because I don't like to just blindly grocery shop, I want to make sure that what I'm buying we're going to eat before it goes bad because I don't like wasting food. I'm not perfect, sometimes things go bad, but by preparing in advance, I definitely don't have it, ha don't have food go bad as often as it does if I don't, <laughs> if I don't prepare. That's Jude Gurley. So let's see, so in this cabinet, we have some kale, this is romaine, and then we have some celery. I'm actually going to juice this tomorrow at some point, so I'm not worried about that. I'm gonna juice all of that together. Then in this cabinet, we have leftover curry, which I purposely made enough so that we could have this for dinner on Monday. Monday is like my busiest day, so I always want something quick for dinner. So I either do leftovers or something like frozen. I have a few of those, these tortillas from Trader Joe's. This won't go bad, it's in the fridge and it's fine. This is just some cheese. This cheese is something that also won't go bad. We have four eggs. It's definitely not enough for a week, so I'll add eggs to the shopping list. Blueberries, Jude will definitely eat this tomorrow morning. Jude and I both love berries. We have some figs back there. Um, those won't go bad, and if they do, I'll actually just make jam. So I definitely wanna get enough fruit to restock both of these. And then our little citrus bin looks good. It has some lemons and orange and a grapefruit in there, so I don't think I'm gonna get anything to restock this. We have some yogurt. Yogurt's like half full, so that's enough for the week. I always have at least one pouch, usually one or two of these in the fridge just in case I like, close the fridge and reopen it. It's gonna beep at me. Just in case I need something quick to give Miss Gurley, I prefer her to not eat these and that's why like, it's not like a daily thing. But yeah, one is enough because I actually think I got this. Corey's calling me. Hello? Hey, do you know if I'm at Starbucks? Um, no, it's way too late. Alright. Are you getting something? I don't know. I need food, I think. Um, where was I? Yes, yeah, so that's enough yogurt. I got this pouch on Tuesday and we haven't used it yet, so I think just one pouch is enough for the upcoming week. We have some Cory cheeses. He has one slice of provolone, and then this is actually enough, so yeah, I'm not gonna get too many cheese. Our drink thing is soft. This is basically done, so I need to get some oat milk and cashew milk for myself. Orange juice is fine. Cory's almond milk is fine. Um, this drawer has a few like miscellaneous fruits. We only have one avocado that is not enough for Miss Gurley. And then that's fine. I might get a few more. This is an Asian pear that I'll probably actually juice. So I'll move this here so I remember. And then I'll probably get an apple or two for snacking. And then Miss Gurley has some mush. That's enough for the week because that's again something she doesn't have like nearly every day at all. Um, this side is just like condiments and stuff, so that's fine. Taking a pop into the freezer. So the reason I do this is one, two, as I said, 
know what I need to buy for groceries and then also I can see what we have so that I can plan dinners. As I said, the curry is for Monday, so I know Monday's knocked out. We have these buns, so I think I'm gonna make like black bean burgers, so that's another meal. We have these shrimp, jumbo shrimp, so I wanna make a meal with shrimp. I have some salmon for easy lunch for me. Corey has these pancake things he got from Chair Joe's and waffles, so that's like a few snacks for him. I still have some frozen veg for Miss Girl. It's another thing that I always have on hand when I need something quick. Definitely enough frozen fruit for smoothies and oatmeal if I want that. This is Miss Girlie's bread. I've been I've started to make her like little mini loaves of bread, which is so cute. Uh, but she doesn't go through it nearly quick enough, so this will last her the rest of the week. She has some blueberry banana muffins in here for like breakfasts, and I'm actually going to make her her waffles too. But yeah, so now I kind of know what we have. I can write down my grocery list and plan the dinners. Once I've looked at the fridge and taken stock of what we have before writing my grocery list and doing groceries, I plan our dinners primarily. I make sure we have some things. She just knocks something over. Make sure we have some things for lunches and then I plan Jude's breakfasts because Corey and I eat generally the same thing for breakfast. So I don't really have to plan that. Like those are things that are just always on the list. Right, Miss Girly? But for dinners, you saw how I kind of came up with some leftovers, some other meals, and then something that I'll also do. I can flip this if you want to watch what Miss Girl's doing. Something that I'll also do is I will look up recipes on Pinterest. I have some cookbooks um, in our study upstairs. And then also if I'm watching YouTube videos, I watch YouTube kind of like TV. Like I rarely actually watch TV shows. I will... If they're eating something that I'm like, oh, that recipe looks good, I'll just jot it down. I also um, used to write down our lunches and dinners like this and make it very, very like exact. But I realized that sometimes we would just want something else and so I ended up like crossing things out and everything and like that just got annoying. So now I just write down like the dinner ideas, lunch ideas, and then the breakfasts for Jude. Alrighty, Jude is sleeping. I threw some laundry in. I'm showered. I'm dressed. Let's do a grocery haul. I'm talking a little bit quietly because I don't want to wake up Miss Girl. So this is a no order because Corey laid this out for me and he wanted to get downstairs to play games. But we have some green beans, parsley. Um, I'm going to make like a shrimp pasta with this. These cookies are so, so good. I don't like crunchy cookies. But these ones, mm, they're so thin and so yummy. I got this because my birthday's on Wednesday and my family's coming over, so I thought this would be nice to have with everyone. I got some naan for, we're doing like Greek chicken bowls, and so I decided to do naan instead of pita bread. That was the original plan, but I chose naan because we're having leftover curry, so I know Corey would like a naan with that. I got some carrots. I actually like getting the loose carrots, but um, the person that did the groceries just got this bag. Two avocados. These avocados are huge. Miss Girlie would be very happy. She loves avocados. Got some Persian cucumbers, half and half for the shrimp pasta making. Feta cheese for the Greek chicken bowls. A Granny Smith apple, and I believe this is a gala or honey crisps. I don't remember what I got. I got some grated Parmesan cheese. It's just nice to put on top of pasta. Corey's a cheese guy. Jude also loves cheese. Got some berries. Jude and I love berries. Tomatoes. Jude and I also love tomatoes. This will also go in the Greek chicken bowls. And then Jude will also just like, eat this throughout the week. So I potatoes to have with our black bean burgers. And then Jude will probably have some of these for lunch. I got these RX bars because I saw that they recently started making these AM versions that have some oats in them, which will be nice like before a little workout. Got some sourdough bread. Corey has already eaten some of this. That's why it looks like this. Got some quinoa. Sometimes I'll make quinoa fresh, but if I'm just feeling like I'm not going to want to do that, I'll buy this frozen quinoa. And the ingredients are still just quinoa, so that's fine. Got some eggs. We always get eggs. Got these empanadas for an easy frozen lunch for Corey. Um, got chicken breast for the Greek chicken bowls. And then I got olive oil, which Corey already like refilled. I can show you. Refill their olive oil thing. But yeah, that is everything. Um, if you're wondering, this cost 
$100, keeping in mind olive oil is quite expensive. And for some reason, these empanada things are like $7, which is annoying. But I do also mostly buy organic produce. I feel like that's a pretty good price for Whole Foods. If you stay with like mostly the produce there, and then also if you have Prime, anything on sale at Whole Foods, you get an additional like, I think 20 or 30% off if you have a Prime account. But yeah, this is everything. I'm gonna prep the produce, put it in the fridge, put the rest of the groceries away. So we're set up food-wise for the week. prepped the lighting is weird since this is the fridge but we have this level all restocked oh i'm about to be out of room one second as i was saying this level is restocked we have everything here i forgot to show before my mama before that i still had some turkey and salami in there so that was good oh and tempeh in there prep some green beans some carrots parsley all that. I ended up making my own nut milk. I had pumpkin seeds, almonds, and hemp seeds. And this is the green juice. I put like the ends of the carrots that you saw in the green juice. So the color is not the best, but all stocked and ready for the week. Something I also tried to do probably at least every other week, but every week would be ideal, is I switch out or I rotate Miss Gurley's toys. So these are the toys she has. Now she also has this mirror, which I'll probably leave out. She has these little spaces. <laughs> She's coming over. And then she has this book basket, which I'll like rotate the books maybe once a month. But so what I did is I went to her room and I got some additional toys and books. I try to go with like some kind of theme so just easier to pick. So this week I'm gonna do some type of like counting theme. So I have this little book that's just counting. The Hungry Caterpillar is probably her favorite book and it has counting. So it's like on Thursday they ate four oranges or whatever. This little pizza is fun. It has a part. She actually hasn't played with this before, but we can still do counting with that. And then this she absolutely loves. And then again, you can still do counting. So it's like one, two, three. So I'll just rotate those out. And then actually when she gets up from her nap, she'll see the new toys. She's playing with this mirror. She's giving it kisses because she doesn't understand that it's her. She thinks it's another baby. So, so sweet. I also switched out her affirmation for the week e is enough is it gonna focus e is enough i'm enough exactly as i am probably is my favorite one because i have a you are enough tattoo i am gonna go ahead and end this video here because that's basically everything i do to reset on a sunday i always also do some sort of cleaning like laundry maybe i'll vacuum i didn't show but i did two loads of laundry today and i vacuumed the living room the last thing i do try to do on sundays is some form of self-care i do count working out as a form of self-care for myself and i did pilates this morning but i'll also like to take maybe like a longer shower maybe do some exfoliating a face mask anything like that to just show myself some extra love if i have the time sometimes to be honest i don't have the time to do that but i do try and do it most sundays and if not i just do it the next day or the next day after that you have to make it work i hope you like this little sunday reset video give you some ideas how to reset before your new week whether you're a stay-at-home parent or you work a conventional job i hope it was helpful and i hope you enjoyed hanging out with me bye